wanted to film a quick intro. This is going to be a DIY distressed denim video. There's so many different techniques in this video. You can literally make tons of different jeans, apply one of these techniques or all of them to like a single pair of jeans, go from like statement to just like a little bit of the detail, whatever you want to do. There's lots of different stuff in this video, so make sure to watch it all the way through. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. The, the subscribe button will be below. And also, if you are subscribed or just subscribed, click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. Click the bell icon because it will actually notify you. It'll just make sure all my videos go in your subscription box because I do lots of videos on men's style, lifestyle videos, um, DIY content all that sort of stuff. So make sure to stay tuned and let's get into today's video. To kick off this DIY, I wanted to do a simple rip for you guys, and this one has the threads in it. And what you're going to need is an X-Acto knife, some scissors, pliers, and your favorite pair of jeans. And what you're gonna start by doing is just cutting two parallel slits and then cutting it however long lengthwise that you want those slits to be. So this is essentially going to be how long uh, your rip is gonna be or how wide your rip is gonna be. And what you're gonna do is take your X-Acto knife and pick down some of those threads to expose the blue threads. So how it works with denim is there's a warp and a weft and basically blue threads run one way and then the white threads run the other way and you're going to pick down the white threads until you expose the blue threads and pull them all out with pliers that's what you're going to do and this is the easiest way to get those white threads exposed as you can see the more blue threads you pull out the more the white threads show and this just creates that very like distressed look that um, i think is really attainable uh, to do so this is my favorite type of distressing to do on jeans is to create these ones with the little threads in them and that's how you create those really distressed areas. These jeans are so edgy but so easy to make. All you're going to need is some black jeans, some binder rings, a nail polish that's like a clear nail polish, a black sharpie, and a hole punch. And what you're going to do to start off is either keep your jeans as is or crop them. And I simply cropped them by cutting off the bottom hem about two inches of it. We wanted to make these a bit cropped for the summertime. And what you're going to next do is cut up the side seam of the jean. And this is basically what we're going to be piercing back together to sort of close it off. And I laid out my binder rings these are just one inch binder rings from like staples i believe and i took my sharpie to just mark where i wanted to punch the holes and you're going to punch holes on either side and then you're going to basically ring them back together so here are the holes i'm using this industrial hole punch if you do not have a hole punch like this simply use a pair of scissors i just have this from when i used to do like leather crafting work um so if you don't have this just use a pair of scissors and once you're done hole punching those holes I went in with a gel nail polish and I went right around those holes so they would not fray. You can definitely add like an eyelet or a grommet into these, but I thought that was an extra unnecessary step. So I just did some clear nail polish because I feel like everyone has some of that somewhere. And once that's all dried, you're gonna slip your binder rings in and that is essentially your pierced jean. And I think this is so cool. You could do this to like a whole jacket sleeve as well. There's a lot of versatility with this. So that is the pierced bottom denim. So this pair of jeans is definitely my favorite from the whole video. I'm obsessed. All you're gonna need is a pair of denim, of course, some red paint, some tape, and a paintbrush. So you're gonna start off by laying out your jeans to where you can see the side seam fully. So this is sort of how I laid them out. Pretty self-explanatory. And what I did was I used some washi tape, but you can also use like painter's tape or masking tape, whatever you have around the house. And I taped off about half of an inch to an inch from that side seam. So I taped it off on either side and all you're gonna have to do, you guys, is literally paint inside of the tape line. So make sure you press the tape down really firmly with your fingers and you just heat it up because if you heat it up a little bit with your fingers, it will bond it much better to the denim. And I use a little bit of red paint. This is actually called distressing paint. I found it at the craft store and I thought maybe it would add a bit of a different effect, but I would suggest probably using a fabric paint. I just had this on hand. So if you could find a red fabric paint, do so, but I really don't plan to wash these jeans. I don't wash my jeans very often. Often. So these are kind of more statementy. I figure I'll only wear them a handful of times before I'm sort of over them, you know? And after that, you're going to pull off the tape. I would pull it off while the paint is still wet so it doesn't harden and you could potentially pull off the paint from the jean and that's your finished pant.
I wear a ton of frayed hem jeans and I wanna share with you guys how I do it because I do it all myself. You're just gonna need your jeans um, and some scissors and X-Acto knife. So you're gonna start off by cutting off the hem of your jean because you're not gonna want that sewed edge on there. After you cut it off, all you have to do is pick at it with your X-Acto knife. And I just, I find an X-Acto knife to be my favorite and best tool when I distress denim. A lot of people use scissors and sandpaper and stuff. I find an X-Acto knife can just do everything I want. And put this over a few sheets of paper and you can really rough it up with the X-Acto knife. But when you are all finished, you have like such an amazing raw edge. And I think it looks so incredible. And that's your frayed hem denim. Notched hem denim has been my obsession lately. I absolutely love it. I think the whole Vet Mons trend set me onto it. You're gonna need these same tools and supplies as the last DIY. And all you're gonna do is cut a panel out of the front. So I'm using my pair of scissors to cut a little panel out of the front of the jean. And this is gonna create that sort of high-low effect. And I think the higher you make in the front and the lower you make in the back, is such a neat look. So uh, try that out. I think it's so cool for girls too if you wear like heels to have a really high front to really show the heel and then have a really low back uh, to sort of elongate the leg in the back. I distress it a little bit with the X-Acto knife and that's the finished notched edge denim. Some of you may remember these jeans from a DIY a while back, but I actually did a different one for you guys today. This is bleached panel denim, and what you're going to need is some bleach, jeans, paintbrush, and tape. It's kind of similar uh, that we're gonna tape off the front of the jean with some washi tape or painter's tape or whatever you have. Tape it off, and this is the section that we're going to be bleaching. I saw this trend a lot on Zara's website this year, and I thought it was really cool. So what you're going to do is tape it off and apply bleach to the area. If your jeans have been treated prior, which as you can see, these ones have been, the center is already a l quite lighter than the edges, I would suggest going in with straight bleach, but if they haven't been treated and they're just like a solid color, maybe dilute the bleach a little bit with water, and um, then you're gonna be able to paint in that section of the paneling and with that bleach, and it's going to lighten. So I just hung these outside the window and lightened them up. But the end clip, you guys, got deleted. So this is a pair of bleach denim I made a while back that you guys can sort of use as reference. Painting on denim has been a huge trend this year and I wanted to share with you guys my little technique on doing so. So I'm just using a pair of jeans, some paint, a small paintbrush, and that's really all you're gonna need. I looked up a quote on Tumblr that I liked and I used my small paintbrush. And the tip I can give you guys for this is to apply a small amount of paint and sort of really dry brush it on there. So really finesse it into the denim rather than placing it right on top. That way it stays in there, of course, when you go to wash it and so forth and so on. So I just wrote out the quote in sort of a block font. I did mess up one word, so I tried to correct it if it looks a little odd and you're curious. And another thing that I did was just drew on a few little star graphics. And I also wanted to splatter it in the area to make it look a little bit more distressed and like the font wasn't supposed to be perfect because I don't think I did it perfectly. So just grab thick amounts of paint and sort of splatter it on the area. And you can use your finger to sort of rub in in the paint to sort of splotch it. And that is your finished painted quote distressing. Oh